Hi, I'm Brian Dickinson, and this training bite shows you how to use UVM simulation phase callbacks and hook methods to debug and customize phase transition behavior. Firstly, let's define the difference between hook methods and UVM callbacks. Both automatically execute a method at a certain point in simulation, but they are declared very differently. Hook methods are a method declaration. Simply declaring the method means it will be executed. There can only be one declaration per class. UVM simulation phase methods like build phase are effectively hook methods. UVM callbacks are a class declaration containing a method. They are not executed automatically, but must be registered with a specific component which must contain extra code to support the callback. Their advantage is that multiple callbacks can be added to a component and their order of execution can be controlled. Let's quickly review UVM simulation phases. Function phases in blue execute, execute sequentially. The previous phase must complete before the next phase can commence. As functions, they execute in zero time. Run phases are tasks, so can consume time. We have run phase in yellow, which all execute concurrently, and run time subphases in green, from reset phase to shutdown phase, which execute sequentially but run in parallel with run phase. Just to complicate matters, a user can define different domains. Within a domain, subphase execution is sequential. However, between domains, execution can be selectively synced or desynced i.e. the reset phase of domain 1 can run concurrently with the configure phase of domain 2. A simulation may also, although very rarely, contain user-defined phases. So for function phases, there is only one phase running at a time. But for task phases, there can be multiple different phases running simultaneously. We can have run phase, a run subphase, run subphases from different domains and possibly user-defined phases. This can obviously affect the use of simulation phase callbacks and hook methods. Now every phase passes through a series of states during a simulation. The initial state is uninitialized. When a simulation is started, the state changes to dormant. When the predecessor phase com completes, the phase state changes to scheduled, then sync to check for synchronization with other domains. When the phase becomes active, we first enter state started. The state will automatically execute the phase started hook method. We execute the state in executing, the next state is ready to end. This state is only applicable to phases with objections, i.e. run phases and subphases. It is entered when all objections for the phase have been dropped and is the last chance to prolong the phase. It has a hook method, phase ready to end. More information on this shortly. When the phase ends, we enter state ended with a hook method, phase ended. Then in cleanup, we kill off any remaining processes of the phase and transition to the final state done. So we have three hook methods which are executed when any phase enters the started, ready to end or ended states. In UVM 1.2, we also have callbacks which are executed on any state transition for a given phase. Let's look at the hook methods first. These are methods of UVM component and can be declared once per class. Phase started and phase ended are executed automatically when every phase enters the appropriate state. Phase ready to end is only really applicable to run phases and subphases, as we shall see. All three are void functions with a single phase argument, which is the phase under execution. The first phase started example here reports the phase argument using get name. So this tracks when each phase is started for debug. The second example here 
assigns the phase argument of the hook method to a property at the start of every phase. This attempts to keep a handle on the current phase, although, as discussed, during runtime there may be no single current phase. We may have run phase, run subphases, domain subphases, and user defined phases, so the property will switch between these as each phase starts. The ready to hook method is a special case. The method is called in state ready to end, which is entered for run phases and subphases when the last objection is dropped. The method can prolong the phase by raising an objection and forcing the phase state back to executing. Obviously there's a danger here of an infinite loop, so there is a built-in iteration limit of 20 cycles after which the state is forced to end it. One problem is that ready to end is a function and cannot consume time. It can raise an objection but without a subsequent drop, the phase will never end. A workaround is to use a fork join none to spawn a thread which can consume time and then drop an objection in the future, forcing the phase state back to ready to end. So we can prolong the run phase or run subphase to, for example, allow data propagation through a DUT. However, it is usually better to define a drain time instead for this. A drain time inserts a delay between the last dropped objection and the transition to state ended. The drain time can be either fixed, static, or variable, dynamic. For more information on drain time, please search for the training byte UVM static and dynamic drain times on support.cadence.com. UVM 1.2 adds phase transition callbacks, which are executed on any state transition for a given phase. The callback must be declared, instantiated and added to a specific phase to be executed. An advantage of callbacks is that multiple callback instances can be added to the same phase and callbacks can be dynamically added, removed and reordered for the phase. To declare the callback, we extend from UVM underscore phase underscore CB, define a constructor with a default name argument, and implement the void function phase state change. This has two arguments, the phase to which the callback is added and the new phase state. By calling get state from the change argument and get name from the phase argument, we can identify the phase and the state transition. To execute the callback, we must construct an instance here in the handle pccb and then add the instance to a phase. Add is a static method of UVM callbacks, parameterized for the type to which the callback will apply. UVM phase and the base type of the callback instance, UVM phase CB. Add has two arguments, the phase to which the callback is added and the callback instance. You can add the callback to the current phase using the phase argument of a phase method as in the commented code here. However, by waiting until a phase is executed before adding the callback, the callback is only triggered on state changes from executing onwards. You can add the callback to a future phase by searching from the current phase using find with a static get on the future phase name as the search term. The callback will then be triggered on every state change from scheduled onwards. Here we add the callback to run phase and report all transitions. Remember the change argument is the new state and the phase only comes into existence from state scheduled onwards so we report transitions from syncing to the scheduled state for the next phase. The simulation phase hooks and callbacks can be complex and there may be easier options depending on your goals. The command line option plus UVM phase trace is an easy way to debug phase transitions. This option reports a variety of messages from verbosity UVM low as shown here and upwards. 
The option reports when a phase is scheduled, started and completed, with extra reports for run phases and sub-phases identifying raised and dropped objections. There is another easy command line option to debug objection handling, plus UVM objection trace. This reports messages with a, with a verbosity of UVM none every time an objection is raised or dropped and includes the description argument of the objection method. Note that objections are propagated up the UVM hierarchy to UVM top. So a dropped objection in a sequence will generate a report from the sequence, sequencer, agent, UVC, test bench, test, and UVM top layers during propagation. The UVM 1.2 set propagate mode 0 method can be used to pass objections directly from source to UVM top, which will avoid reports from intermediate hierarchical levels. Okay, so that was simulation phase callbacks and hook methods. I hope you found it useful.